that badass motivation, that non-Trey gangster shit, baby. This is Trey Way. I keep a fat bag hanging on my backside, only on the right side. Yeah, that's the plus side. <laughs> Ain't I'm banging east side? Shout out to the west side, but I bang it west side. <laughs> Nigga, I ran into the blood. To the blood. I done ran into the car. Hey, everybody. So. Due to popular demand. By the way, beforehand, before we go into this, if you hear some background noise, that's because my beloved is in the background watching television. Why don't you say hi to the people, babe? Hello. Hello. So yeah, this is the game that I hear a lot of people say is even worse than fucking the DMC reboot, which I think is actually a very interesting statement. I got a little bit in, like just in the first level, but so we're gonna start off in the beginning. First off, let's make sure those. Oh, look at that fucking Edge Lord font. And without further ado, let's dwell into the madness. I'm actually very interested to play this because this is a game that I've heard the most about almost as well. Mostly due to neg like negatory stuff, but I still though, like I, I have to get in there and experience it. Like I want to experience the Rust Tech if it really is there like everybody says it is. I've heard a lot about Lucia too, uh, like a mixed bag of stuff for Lucia, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this game will get well. It will give me insight, hopefully. Hey Dante. Now, one thing I will say regardless of how I end up feeling by the end of this this is by far his coolest design like the coolest that Dante's ever looked like the black and red color palette and like how the coat looks and everything like this is like the best look ever my favorite artwork of him always has to do with this this particular outfit Spoopy. Oh, mission one. Toward the north, the hunter of dark blood will realize his destiny. All right, blood. Guide pose for the hunters, chapter one, clause three. That sounds like a fucking bloodborne, like guide pose for the hunters. Alrighty, here we go. Now, I want to get a few things out of the way before we go any further. This game has some balancing issues, to say the least. And I'll try to show them to you. Well, okay, I'll wait till we get to our first enemy, then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Now this first enemy here, I won't front to you, I actually kind of like it, really like it design wise. Okay, so, you start off at the baseline of the game, at the very beginning with Ebony, Ivory, and of course, the new sword that you have now called Rebellion. Now I don't know if you guys are seeing this shit, 
but do you see that health bar going down super fast? And do you see the enemy AI like just bugging the fuck out? Like, look at that. Look, look. Look at this shit. But one thing that is an interesting addition, though, is that now instead of like having to purchase it as like a move for Ifrit, you do now have a double air hike now. Without any, without having to have any weapon equipped. Well, I don't remember if you could do it with with Ifrit or Alistair. Look at him, I'm just standing behind him. I don't know if you could do it with both, with either Ifrit or Alistair selected, but yeah. It's just right here off the bat. Look at this. Look at this AI. Look at this shit. Look at it. Look at that. That is at least 10 seconds right there. Where the AI is just refusing to do anything to you. Look at this shit. Look at it. Look. Look. So, I'm not actually 100% sure, like, what the team was thinking about for this th during the time this was in development. Um, but apparently, some bright minds thought that it was, like, a smart, a super smart idea to make the weapons overpowered as shit. Like, you guys saw there, I didn't have to use Rebellion at all. You cheese through enemies and bosses in this game alike with the guns and a lot of people hate that me personally I kind of love it because it's like I don't know I just kind of I really like using the guns in this game like they feel good to use despite them being like overpowered they feel great to use but again they're overpowered to shit and of course you have your baseline air moves and your air time while shooting and and double jumping is fucking... Like, look at how much air time that is. That's ridiculous. You're floating. And then you also have Rainstorm, which you immediately activate as soon as you do the double jump with your firing your weapons. But, so far, the thing that pisses me off the most about this game is how shitty Rebellion feels to use. And you guys want to see what I mean? Look at this. It feels the most sluggish that I've ever felt it. And I've played I've played through DMC1, I just beat it recently. And I played through fucking the reboot. And those are how the sword should absolutely function. But this it just feels sluggish. It feels super sluggish, and you want to see the shit, the part that's even more shittier? Check out your stinger. Look at that. Look at how shitty that stinger is. Look at that shit. You barely catch up to the enemies at all. Look at that. That's like literally a hop skip. And it's so shitty and so slow. Like, as much as I like... I'm a gunman and, and it feels great to use the guns and I'm not gonna lie I'll probably use I'll try to use the swords as well but I will probably be using the guns more likely more than the swords more likely but in a Devil May Cry game your fucking sword should not feel like feel shittier to you no, no that's not the right term your sword should not feel like the second option. It should feel like the primary option and it should be fine-tuned the most. While the guns work fantastic and while they are, again, while they're overpowered, they work fantastic. They added in two some time, uh, Rainstorm. That should be your secondary weapon and it should only be used to, like, extend your combos but, like, not fucking finish off entire bosses and enemies like nothing like you saw it I cheesed through them like nothing I cheesed through them like absolutely nothing and that's that's my major complaint of the game so far is rebellion feels so shitty to use like I've never felt more unvo unmotivated to use the sword in a fucking devil may cry game and that says something oh 
speaking of which, and also added into a Devil May Cry game, you have the ability to evade now with the B button, which is a nice, pretty nice little nifty feature. And also, Dante as a whole kind of feels a little bit more sluggish at certain points. Like, look at this double jump, and look at when, like, look at when he stops. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my button moving forward on the fucking the analog stick to, to, to try to move when I come back down from the double jump, but just look. Look at that fucking delay. Look at how that delay is. And again, I know I might be nitpicking, but remember, this is a Devil May Cry game. This is a fucking hack and slash game. Like, this delay does not feel good at all. Like, you come to a full stop after your double jump. But one way I've found that's like a good way to circumvent this... Just evade as soon as you get to the floor. Oh, and that's another nifty thing as well. Like, you press B while running towards the walls. You press the evade button. Oh. <laughs> um. I wasn't expecting to find a secret room. Alright. Fuck it, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's another thing. Instead of, like, having to press an examine button, you literally just walk into doors now. That was really random. I didn't know what was happening for a minute. I was like, wait a minute. I didn't go to this door before. When I fucking played this like a couple minutes ago. Look at that. Look at how shitty that stinger is. Look. Look at guys. Oh, man. Just. Oh, just fucking cheesed. Ooh, white orb. A crystal with condensed demon tears to recover your magic. Oh, okay. Recover your vitality. Okay. When they say magic power, are they talking about DT or are they talking about like a new thing that I haven't gotten yet? Oh, that was interesting. I wasn't expecting that. But as I was saying, another nifty feature they added into the game, if you run towards like a wall or something and like evade, and you'll either wall run up it or wall run like the side of it. And you can actually pull off like a pretty decent like rainstorm doing it. Like don't, like, don't get me wrong, I'm in the first level already and I can tell there's some shit about this game that's already pissing me, like pissing me the fuck off. But there's some good things this game does. It's not completely shitty, while it is, like, bad for the most part already. It's got some stuff in here I like. I'm not gonna front. Matter of fact, might as well show off Double Trigger right now. Which looks pretty badass, honestly. And it has the same shit as before. It doesn't matter. Enemies can hit you and it won't stagger. Uh, square button. You're not able to like rapid fire electricity and triangle is also the same thing with rebellion, but it also has a lightning buff. So basically you get Alistor Alistor's moveset, I believe. Was wait, was it Alistor or was it the other one? No no no, it was Alistor. Like his lightning moveset, you pretty much get it, or like a piece of it in DT mode. Which, you can also, by the way, yeah, you can also change your swords and your guns and shit here. It's basically like your weapon switch screen. But, the amulets here allow you to actually customize your devil trigger. Which is actually a pretty cool thing that this game does, honestly. And like, I haven't found, I believe I found one more like a little further ahead. And like the next level, possibly. Like, it feels lousy, like, using the sword. There you go. Oh. Like, it feels like so... St like, this. it also feels stiff. Oh, and there's two sometimes. Which I actually really like that feature, like, a real lot. It's actually pretty good for crowd control, honestly. Oh, Jesus. Ugh.
black evil oh my god and also granted it does feel cool to fucking flip around and like do all this sick shit this sick shit in the air with the fucking the guns and it also worries me about the guns because I'm doing this much damage right now and ebony and ivory isn't upgraded at all and there is a gun selection screen so I'm wondering how much more ridiculous it'll get oh hey Lucia yeah. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, that was a weird FMV, which is another thing that right off the bat I'm kind of also not feeling. It's like in every single game, like even 4 and even 5 when he's like old man Dante, He's still like a surfboard like jerk, but like the one that you love, like he's a cocky asshole, but he's also a badass at the same time. And in this, he's somewhat a little, like he's still badass from what I've seen, but he's like a silent, like fruity, depe like depressed type in this one. And like, that's, that, that's not who Dante is. Okay, that blew up. Where's Mathieu? Mathieu? Good grief. They really made a big mess, didn't they? Where did you hide? Like, is that like your basement? How did you... I, I don't know. It sure took him a while to find this place. Maybe she coded that basement in plot he armor. Arrived, son of Sparta. You knew him? The guardians of this land, the Dumali. Our clan once fought against the demons with Sparta, son of Sparta. We must ask this favor of you. You see, there's a man who's transformed our land into a demon's paradise. His name is Arius. And although he is the president of an international public corporation, he uses the demon power. Wait, is it me or does that look similar to like a DMC like reboot structure? I don't know. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Looks like it's your lucky day. Wonderful. I am very pleased. It leads to a harbor. If you are successful, I will tell you a story about your father, son of Sparta. That's another thing I have an issue with. Like, she's like, kind of yanking his chains, like, oh, you do this, maybe I'll tell you a dope story about your father. And like, this is, but this is Dante when like, he's at his like, canonically, before DMC5, he's at his oldest and like, most beast modius. Like, wouldn't he know that already? Like, I don't know. Alright, we have this door. A guard that protects the silence of the underground tomb, you must defeat it. Which literally is all you have to do is just slash it like six times. That was weird. Oh hey, red oh uh uh. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. Ooh, another blue orb. Dope. This savage golem is a weirdo. It doesn't even get like an enemy introduction or anything. Like it, it's super weird. And I get the like, uh, yeah, I've only made it like one level into this basically, kind of. But it's weird. Nice try, bitch. All right. Oh, there's the pyro. But yeah, just another enemy that's just thrown in there, not really given an enemy introduction but it's it's not really a big thing it's just weird to me look at this crazy party like what the fuck oh wait a minute 
Oh, they regenerate. Cool. But Jesus. Look at that shit. Look at this shit. Look at that. That's another thing about this game too. I, I'm pretty sure I might have mentioned it already, but just in case I didn't, the AI is not great at all in the slightest bit. Like most of the enemies that I, no, scratch that. All of the enemies that I've encountered so far are so non-aggressive it's ridiculous it's, it's super baffling and some people will be like uh it's it's just ai like oh this was an old game this and that yada yada, yada. but what you don't realize that coupled with the fact that like your guns are super op and remember this is only tier one i haven't even upgraded the pistols yet or found any other guns that is a problem when your ai when you have shitty ai in a game like this especially. Bafflement perhaps, but I, I like it. But like, look at this, they pose no challenge at all, look at that! I just cheese one of them even without the pistols, and then look with the pistols, look at that! He's just stuck getting steamrolled up his entire ass, like look at that. Unfucking believable. Ooh. Yeah, come to Papa. His DT form in this game, I can't lie, I actually really like it. It's super cool. Aerial Heart, which is another another artifact for your date for your DT? What? What? DT? <laughs> your DT. A magic stone with the heart of a flying demon bird. Basically, what it just, it literally is what it says. It actually enables you to fly in DT. So let's do a DT. And it's just tapping the A button, really. Nothing special. But, it is pretty useful to get those aerial enemies that you can't reach quite... Well, matter of fact, actually, no, that's kind of pointless, especially with how strong the fucking weapons are already. Key to the next journey begins and ends with death. Guidepost for the Hunters, Chapter 2, Clause 4. Wait, hold on. Is... Can I look further in there? Is that supposed to be the world down there? Because, okay, look at that. And then look at... How the... That, no, that can't be the world. That's, that's a weird... Oof, jeez. Oh my god, it is! Look at the fucking sky, it's gray and it's foggy, just like that one thing, look at it! Oh, wow. Oh, I got a new vitality bar, they raised it up for me. Thank you. Oh, hey, Bafflenet. Alright. Alright, watch out for the fart gas. Watch out! Oi! I will say though, I do like the feel of the evade button. Feels- Oh! That was cool! I'm sorry. <laughs> that was actually a little cool. Damn it, Devil May Cry 2. Stop trying to be more cool. What now? Oh. Is that a fucking shotgun? Shotgun? Am I, am I losing my ability to speak fluently? Like, what's happening? 
So yeah, this is our first boss, the Oran Guerrera. It's a weird pronunciation. But yeah, just look at this. Look at this shit. Pistols only, level one. Like, look how sluggish it is. Like, Jesus Christ. Alright. Look at this shit. Look at him. I'm tasing his titties to death. Look at that. And he's dead. <laughs> he's fucking dead. Jesus Christ. And look. That's another issue that this game has. Look at how long DT lasts. A fully charged bar can last like fucking like 30 mi seconds to a minute. That's too fucking long. Oh man. This game, this game is something special, I'll give it that. She has many arms, but only one heart, as she waits for the hunter deep in the water. This boss, uh, I got mixed feelings about this boss. Well, no, actually, let's be honest. It sucks. It's not great at all. Yep, Just taser right in the belly. Yep. Yes, sir. And just dip, just dip. And that's pretty much this entire fight in a nutshell. That's all she wrote. It's it, and then she has the force field shit that she randomly does. That's pretty much the gist of it. It's not designed good at all. And that's pretty much Joe Cat for you right there. In a nutshell, pretty much. It's... It's not a... <laughs> <laughs> Watching her die as I slowly die from the poison. And we go to this bike. And we just get a shotgun like that. But I'll have to use it further on. Swimming in orbs right now. And this is pretty much where pretty much where I got to for DMC2 so everything else after this is gonna be completely new to me close to your eyes but far off in your mind the hunter must learn the value of options matter of fact let's do a power up you can increase the power of your sword <laughs> no I'm not, I'm not gonna do the handgun just yet I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to stick with the sword a little bit as well Let's get the shotgun of, like, another try. The AI for these guys is fucking terrible. It's atrocious. It's filthy. Like, look at that! Look at their AI! They're just bouncing around, like, bouncing into me, not even damaging me. It's fucking horrendous. And look, now I just got hit. Probably out of the, due to a fucking accident. <laughs> and look, they just sit down in the post, like, waiting for their master or some shit. Look at that shit. Oh. Hey. Hey, you look like a cool guy to fight. Ooh, this actually kind of looks like an interesting area. Cool. Look at them. They're just stuck getting steamrolled. Look at that shit. I don't know. I do like the idea of fighting in a ruined city in a Devil May Cry game. Didn't they try to do that with one of those, like, fucking, uh, whatchamacall? That fucking, that Onimusha game, I believe it's called? I don't remember off the top, of, like off the top of my head, but I'll put a fucking screen cap in the, of it in the video. Oh, another one! All right, I guess. 
mean, shit, don't mind if I do. More XP for me. I'm already swimming in it enough as is. Wouldn't mind living in it full time. Alright, fuck it. Just to use DT. Fun. Oh, that was weird. The tyrant. Oh my god, is this what I've been hearing about all after all this time? Oh my god, the demon of it takes. <gasps> no. No way, are you serious? Are you actually fucking serious? Wow. You're fucking kidding me right now. You can't be serious with this shit. He's not doing anything. Look at this shit. Holy fucking shit. Wow. You gotta be fucking kidding me with that. <laughs> Are you ready? No, I'm not. Showtime. What the fuck, man? Look at this shit. Demon infested motherfucking t- <gasps> Where'd he go? Oh, I gotta worry for a minute. Demon infested motherfucking tanks. I'll be fucking damned. This is pathetic. This is trash. Look at this shit. He can't even fucking shoot me. He can't reach me. This is trite. This is fucking trite. They designed a boss fight that... <laughs> Excuse me. Th this is trite. They designed an enemy AI that fucking bad. Are you kidding me? Like... That's literally all you have to do. Why would they make it like that? That's awful. Can't believe this shit. Demon motherfucking tanks. I can't believe this shit. Unbelievable. What an abhorrent travesty. That might be one of the worst at like regular enemy fights or at regular enemy AI that I've seen in quite a fucking long time. Holy shit, that's fucking bad. That's as bad as it gets. I feel like I'm in like a Resident Evil level right now. Just because of how the layout looks and like all the fire. Well, if there's like one comparison that's like coming to mind automatically, it'd have to be fucking uh, Resident Evil Outbreak. The, uh, the first level of the Apple Inn. 
where you're like trying to escape the apple and you eventually make it on the streets and most of it's like damaged or like on fire well honestly that don't fucking surprise me because fucking devil may cry who started off originally as re4 and eventually they were going at like too like they were straying too far off from like like stuff that they liked but it wasn't as close to like resident evil as they as it it was supposed to be so i believe what the story is is like they actually got another team to like turn this into its own full game not this but like fucking that re4 version that they had into like its own full game and keep on continuing to develop re4 like the original re4 game if that makes any sense and that's where pretty much dmc started off from but no um yeah, I actually really like this level design. It's actually pretty neat. I really like it. Oh. <gasps> Shut up. Shut up. You're kidding me right now. Really? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Why would they make it like that? Why would they even make that an enemy? Oh, oh no. Where is the helicopter even at? I can barely see him in the frame. Can I reach him with DT? It. Jesus Christ. I can't believe it's this bad. No, don't fly away. Is it done? Oh, no, it's not. He tried to fool me. He's done. What? What the fuck just happened? It just, it just disappeared into the void. All right, fucking weirdo. What the fuck? Uh oh, I was like, what's happening? Oh, fuck off, not in here. Where is he? Oh. Well, I guess this is basically your fight. Just run around in circles. Granted, though, again, this level design is cool. I like it a lot. Come on, get out of here already. So lame. He's making a run for it, I guess. <gasps> oh. Wait, what? Uh oh. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. <gasps> oh! Uh oh. Oh, come on! Jesus, do I have a vital star? Fuck, I don't have shit. Don't fuck, don't. Do not fucking jump off there. <gasps> oh, stop that. Give me some health, please. Can I get some help? Oh, oh. Get to the helipad. What do I do? Do I jump? Oh! What the fuck? Oh. Alright, I guess.
Oh my god. Climb up! Alright. Oh, I thought I lost. Damn it. Oh, this part's a little tricky. Oh, I, f <laughs> I could just use my double trigger. <laughs> you idiot. What are you doing, Johnny? There you go. Oh, well, oh, he's a boss now. Okay. This is bad. Look at this shit. I'm like under his asshole. He can't reach me. I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but like, guys, just look, look at the screen. Look at what you're seeing right now. Look at that. Like somebody sprinkled a hint of like the G virus on the fucking helicopter. It's literally a bio curse now. Oh. <laughs> he fell right on top of me. I died. He fucking died. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck was that nonsense? <laughs> Oh, Lord, help me.